Good morning, Quidditch fans. We're back. We're on a roll here. It's crazy. Actual videos from people of me. Uh, I'm excited. By the way, here's the current update as 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 per the Movember ness. I gotta shave too because just it's gotta be the mustache. But I'm just I'm lazy. Anyway, I want to comment on what you said in your video on Sunday, Katie, in discussing NaNoWriMo versus Movember. Frankly, I don't think. They have to be mutually exclusive. I could have just as easily done um, NaNoWriMo. It's not just as easily, obviously, just as easily decided to do NaNoWriMo, uh, though it would have been very difficult because I write slowly and really have no plans for writing that long form a, a, a written work. But I don't think it's... it's uh, there's a lot of, a lot of gender-based... Um, unhappiness there. I know dudes who are participating in NaNoWriMo, and believe it or not, there are females participating in Movember, although it's very difficult for them to grow mustaches. Um, so they, they, some people knit them, and stuff like that. It, it's a weird, weird thing. Also, today, oh, I, I'm doing this late Tuesday, no, early Wednesday morning at this point. Tuesday, Ohioans came out, and they voted, and they shut down the law banning collective bargaining by unions, which is a big thing for the labor movement. It's a big thing for workers in the state of Ohio, firefighters, police officers, teachers, the whole whole shebang. Um, and that's that's really really good. Also, in Mississippi, they um they they shut down the um the potential personhood amendment, which would declare pe a person uh, from the point of conception, which I personally disagree with. I know others on this channel do not agree with that, and I'll leave that as it is. Finally, and this is really exciting, the Quidditch World Cup is finally this weekend. I'm so excited. I'm volunteering. I actually took extra shifts to volunteer, so I'm volunteering both Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be super awesome. I'm going to take photos and video and put it on my Tumblr page, dpex.tumblr.com. If you're not following, you're not cool. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, I like that we're all back now. It's like that sign in factories, you know, we have gone blank days without an industrial work accident. We're like that, except we have gone blank days without a missing vlog. We have to think with the mindset of if someone doesn't vlog, someone loses a finger or slips and falls or gets workman's comp in some way. So you got to have to think with that mindset. We're working in the YouTube awesomeness factory. And on that note, Robin, I will see you at the YouTube Awesomeness Factory at Osseo Nerds tomorrow. Holy crap, one more thing. How could I have forgotten? I have a quiz published on Mental Floss, the trivia magazine. It is the 19th century facial hair quiz, which is appropriate a, for me because that seems to be all I write about, but it, it's not, surprisingly, and also because of November. Take a look at it. I'll put a link to it in the doobly-doo.